Hiya, welcome to Time 3 Plan. This is Antonia speaking. Um, I'm coming today because I'm actually doing a different project and I was going to go to my Daphne's Diary magazine and I realised I haven't done a flip through of it yet. So I'm doing that now so that I can get on with my other project basically. <laughs> so this is the latest one that I've received in the... Um, post and I do absolutely love her artwork there's so much if you journal junk journals or you do scrapbooking or anything like that there's so much you can use in here so that's the start Daphne's diary belongs to I unfortunately um or fortunately because I can use so much of it absolutely ripped the magazine to pieces using like I would use that for decoration I would use that somewhere, pretty much everything, I'd use that photo definitely, and the articles are quite nice, vintage at an old farm, right up my alley, oh I wish I could live there, so this article is all about this farm. Bean sprouts in your tea, apparently really good, all about barbecuing, although I think in England our barbecue season's just come to an end. But ain't that a nifty idea, look it's a pencil pot. Oh well, colouring as all with the lovely homing that she does. And then she's got bows and she's got these cut out so you can do your own bows. And that's the back so if you follow it, it basically it's all done for you there's pages of that mother's tips what's in your bag oh dear don't ask <laughs> this is a, a cheerful sandwich bag that you can make from paper beautiful paper to use it last month they had that envelope it took me a few goes but I finally did get the envelope going and then look at that nifty idea tea bags painting on tea bags I mean, these you can all use and if you junk journaling or scrapbooking. It's fantastic. The colours are just absolutely amazing. Honey. We all know how good honey is. Back to work. She's got little things here this summer I, most, I was most surprised by. My best memory. Every summer has a story, and then these stickers that they do. It's basically stickers to put in a planner or somewhere to, you know, compliment yourself. Fantastic. And then she's got another story about how a lady turned an 18th century barn into a guest house. One can only dream. Beautiful part of France. Quirk holes, a new hobby. To me, it just looks like paint by numbers, but she gives you one to give a go at. Then in the garden in September. Then we got how to draw a caravan in six steps. Now, if that was not made for me, I don't know. It's going to be my template. And then these are just, you know, like in planners, you have the to-do dots, the checklist dots. That's basically those. I said our planner ladies first and then craft ladies second. We got that all sussed. So that's all that. Back. 
waste free so how you fold an envelope so you can use it as a takeaway bag type of thing there's quite a lot of stories now there are quite a lot of articles in here with a lot of artwork and pictures but the pictures you can always use this I find so look at that wall but this is a little comic book that now for those with SEN children like myself they actually recommend that you do things in comic book style because it's short and supported by pictures but you could just cut out those tags and use them as tags I mean really there's nothing stopping you that's fantastic um, there's a lot of colour in all of this so you can definitely you know use like if you've got a heart punch or a butterfly punch and you could punch out the fish if you wanted to and you could use the blue colour in the fish old Monet himself in his paintings so that's all of those And then she shows you how to make a wooden plate rack. But beyond my DIY skills. Get to know yourself better. Cover your hand. So you've got a page here to basically draw around your hand. And then you write on all your different bits and pieces that you need to. Then you've got your recipes again. She's got a cut out pencil case. That will look like that when it's finished. And then tarts, bohemian feel in a caravan. Shows you how to do a pom pom rug. Living in the moment. You look at these on the edges you can always use that for something post and a summer necklace and then she's got another beautiful poem with some lovely artwork at the bottom here another coloring woolen dolls an article about that and how you get on doing that and then make a fruity garland so she's got these obviously you can use these for anything but the back is the exact same well similar so if you cut it out you've got the front and back so those are quite useful and we've got bokeh chrysanthemums and then she's got all her bits and pieces advertising her magazine in there and what's in her online shop and then the back cover which is these beautiful autumn autumnal leaves so there we go i'm looking forward to that so there's there's that um edition of daphne's diary i hope you enjoyed watching it it was a very super quick flip through because I'm keen to get on with my other project and I kind of need it to take it apart and use it. So check back with me next month and I'll do another one. Otherwise, happy crafting and I'll see you next time. Bye.